We'll rasp that smooth a little bit on the ends. And we'll put this piece back up here. And then we'll set this frame in here. And this is going to be our window frame when we're all done. And that's a buck system is what you call it in this type of construction, that's exactly right? For window bucks. So then we would just continue with what we were doing before. Now we'll have a different cut here because we've got a window, so I'm going to go ahead and lay this one out to cut. So I'm going to go ahead and cut this one right here. Double check myself. Measure twice, cut once. Right there, I'm going to cut this first one off the way up. this on a house, we're going to do some smart things. We're going to look at where these fall and we're going to check in with the builder and see if we can move windows around and things to make this stuff perform a little differently. Hey, dude, that is a king size Lego. That's right. Oh, that's awesome. So there you go. Now we've got some, move, some room to get this window all trued up as we go up with the wall. So now, we can continue. I'm just going to go a little bit further. The same thing happens. We're going to pop in some rebar here in just a second. As we go around the corner. So in this house, it's going to go that way. We've got another room over there. So we're just going to go that way with it. We'll drop our rebar in here. Box everything in place. Overlaps per code. And this stuff comes in a bundle. It's easy to handle. It's light. Pieces weigh about six or seven pounds, so you don't have any really strenuous uh, activity for your workers. It saves on labor, it saves on job site injuries. Now, this one here, I'm not going to cut this one because I don't want to waste the piece, but what we would do with this one is slide it down and make that cut in the same place I did on this one down below. So that's about how that would work. Now, what's amazing, James, is the speed. Folks, look how fast this is going up. I mean, Imagine a crew, if you're building a standard house, how many people does it take in a crew to, to put up the uh, wall structure? You really want a good four-man crew. You're going to have, because when we get about four courses up, we're going to be working off some scaffolding. So we need a guy who really knows how to call out the cuts, a guy on the ground who knows how to cut it, who cuts them and feeds them to the guy stacking, a guy who can lay out all the rebar. So he looks at this wall and he sees that piece of rebar and that piece of rebar. He knows he's got to do that up to the height of the window and he knows he's got to do long ones above. So a good rebar guy a good stacking guy, and then a cutter, and then a basic uh, all around, keep things flowing, bring material in from the and center. And it's very user friendly. So for a lot of people out there who are trying to, you know, redefine themselves in, this, in, in, in the industry of building homes and building buildings, but in this case, building a house, what's the learning curve? Who's the right person for this? Would a framer be a good person to learn this type of technique? A framer is really good at this because they already know layout. Layout's a very important thing. The ability to read plans is really important. Um, the main thing that people need to understand is that when you get into this kind of business, it's like anything else. You've got to approach it the right way. You've got to, you've got to market yourself as someone who's got the skills, and you've got to invest in yourself. It requires some special scaffolding. It requires a good deal of mobility so you can get out to job sites, so you have a, a vehicle where you can carry enough equipment out there. The scaffolding system is very important. Uh, it's not just uh, wood driven into the ground. It's got turnbuckles. It also incorporates a walk plank onto the scaffold so that you can get up there and, and work on this. And, and you're going to be operating a hose at about this level, filling this thing up. When the wall is 8, 10 feet high, you're going to be on the scaffold right there filling this with concrete. At that point, you'll have your four guys. You'll have one guy pouring concrete, one guy vibrating, one guy down here checking on windows and getting the flow into the windows, and another guy going behind and truing up everything as you go to make sure the wall is perfect.